let's make some cool cannon. I've got a beautiful, just part of a cabbage from the backyard, some amazing leeks. They always come with dirt. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. And some potatoes. Let's get these in some boiling water. Now leeks, they, they grow right, here's the root. So they grow this way and they have to push themselves up to get out into the world. So it would make sense that there would be a lot of dirt, right? In these leaves, because they have to push through the dirt to come up. So you just really need to make sure that you thoroughly clean your leeks. Now, I peeled off a few of the outside layers. I could, I could do more, but there's some really good white part on there. But what I want to do is I want to slice this all up. When it gets really thick, like right there, mm, not the best, so I might stop right about there. But then we want to really like rinse them and get the dirt out because it's grainy. Like I feel the dirt right here and I don't want that in my mouth. So let's cut them. Okay, I've got my vegan butter in there. And if you can do regular butter, I'm then putting in my, my cleaned leeks. And I'm just going to keep moving these around until they get kind of soft and then we're going to add some magic. In the meantime, I've boiled my potatoes. These are all, they're boiled and good. I'm going to drain them and they're, they're super soft. Now, you notice, I did not take the peels off. You can peel them at this time if you'd like. I'm, I'm not going to. I like the rustic look. Okay, so let's just saute these down. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, they're starting to get really soft and brown on the bottom, so let's uh, press in some garlic. I'm just doing three cloves today. I'm just going to stir that in, just to take a little bit of the bite off the garlic. And then, look at how much cabbage I have. We're just going to add in about, I don't know, two or three cups. Stay tuned. Cabbage in, and it is, it's already reducing down quite a bit. So we're just gonna keep it moving. We don't want any bits to get stuck to the bottom. We wanna make sure that we're getting as much of the cabbage in the surface area of the pan. Oh my gosh, friends, this smells so good. Now this is the fun part. So the cabbage is wilted and I added in some milk. You can do regular milk, you could do cream. You could do half cream, half milk. You can do plant-based milk. So we're just going to let this simmer and then we're gonna add in some more. Fun okay, milk. we're achieving our simmer. So what I'm gonna do is add in a little bit of salt and pepper, give it a stir just to incorporate it because when I add in this next part, it's gonna be much harder to stir and go. A little bit more cabbage so it's not going to be as squishy because I'm adding it after and all of the nice soft potatoes. Again, I could take the peels all off. They come off very easily now, but I, I like the rustic look. So let's get these in and we have to mash. My potato masher, he died. So I'm using my pastry blender, which I learned at the cooking store that I worked at a long time ago. It's a wonderful alternative to a, to a traditional potato masher. So we're just going to keep mashing. Mash, 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 mash. I mashed this all up. I like the color with the skins, don't you? Okay, let's taste. Let's taste. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. And this is the time where you would add a little bit more salt and pepper. I'm telling you right now, this has all the flavor that it needs. So remember, there's gonna be a little bit of bite from the cabbage that was put in at the end because it wasn't sauteed first, but that's good. We need, we need to serve this. It's the best mashed potatoes ever. <sighs> have you been enjoying this uh, hold music as much as I have? It's been 42 minutes. It said 27 when I started, but you know what? This recipe, you guys kept me company. So let's taste.
Mmm, mmm. If you would like to up your mashed potato game with these Irish mashed potatoes, I'm Cool Cannon. It comes from a Gaelic term meaning white headed cabbage. You can also do this with kale, but I think cabbage is pretty fantastic here. And I've got 1 million pounds of it in my backyard. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope it's filled with something warm and cozy like this because this friends is fantastic.